morning to another episode of Platform of 2, patch 1.09 HD edition. Today we got 1v1 on Rohan 2. Spawning in the bottom left side, we got the Goblin <laughs> playing as Goblin. We're gonna call him Dag. And his opponent, it's going to be Max playing as Elves. So we got Ryan Cole against Kevats. Rohan 2, map without outposts, most of the players playing on Rohan, definitely on, one uh, on patch 1.00. In this case, there we go without uh, outposts, as, as well, we have in instead of uh, signal fire, near the trawler. Creeps are different as well, we got warclers and the trolls in the different positions, and then in 1.00 Rohan. Let's check the players what they're doing. So Dag staring with Goblin Cave and followed by another Goblin Cave. And thing is, he does not scout his opponent. Let's check him out if the players choose their races. It seems that Dag choose goblins, but I cannot rely on it because when I cast it, uh, Elite Cryptic uh, gameplay replay. He saw. Uh, he said to me that he was random as well as his opponent. So they. I will not rely on it. Anyway, we got another model tree for Max. He's going with Mephrant Sentry. He's definitely to creep those warclers. And thing is, in such a short map as uh, Rohan is, you should definitely go with Lorien Archers to hide near the, those trees and try to catch uh, goblins. If you know that your opponent is, of course, goblin. We got another tunnel and uh, there is tunnel near the base. Those this goblin cave is out of position. It should be near the fortress. This fortress is not able to uh, kill units that would try to harass this goblin lair and even this tunnel. On the meantime, Max is going to creep the warclair, and he got Lorian archers, of course, followed. Fingers, Lorian archers should be always an aggressive stance as well as Mephran sentries. Uh, except when they get uh, those uh, Persepino formation. We got Goblin Warriors moving towards middle. And they will be catched by Lorian Archers. Definitely. So, my friend sentries receive level 2, take the resources from the Goblin, uh, from the Warclair. And now, alongside uh, Lorian Archers, they will be working on this uh, trawler. And definitely t in should be taken, actually. In 1v1, in all those matches, if you can take some uh, in or signal fire as fast as possible, you should do it. So, we got Lorian Archers on the battlefield. Uh, running cost shouldn't be used over here. The cave bats uh, definitely decrease the armor and uh, damage this way. And the spell debuff all those units, so the running call shouldn't be used here. Thing is, there was uh, like four battalions of goblin warriors and they should be spread across uh, the enemy's base. You get to really micro with goblins actually. Definitely against elves, against everything. You should definitely micro them to deal more and more damage and lose as less as possible to be the most cost efficient. And now goblin just take down one mal tree and kill like uh, four of his battalions of goblin warriors. It's not really good. We got Lumber Mill in Dago's base. He's going with Spider Pet and he's going with Spider Riders right away. As we can see Elf wasn't able to take down the troller for some reason. The troll is still here. He got only two battalions of Lorian Archers. And Max is going for Green Pizzer, so for cavalry units, which is pretty good against goblins, definitely against goblin warriors that will be here and more and more. How about power points? 1 to 2, but it doesn't matter at this point of the game yet. More and more uh, Lorian archers, it's not what you would like to do. You definitely want to get some Efren sentries at this point of the game. And your first power point as an elf shouldn't be running call in uh, 1.09. It should be a far side to scout your opponent and find out what he's doing actually. In the meantime, Riven announcers and another Lorian, warrior, uh, Lorian Archer Battalion 
Venez could be dangerous because he got Mifren sentries out of position. They're trying to take it in at the moment. Could uh, to get access to some peasants. And he doesn't have uh, anything that could even protect those archers from the riders actually. I think it's as a goblin, good that he is trying to get another goblin cave, but how many power points, uh, how many command points he got? Only 450, so it's not that much to add another cave, uh, another cave to your composition. And even you get spider pet and you're trying to go with spider riders, which are 600. This is a lot actually. And now Elf should realize that he made a mistake and should go for uh, my front sentries. Let's see. No, he's still getting those Lonian archers. And it could end up badly because those uh, Goblin Riders could easily take down all those units actually. And it seems that Dag know what he's doing. Rallying call has been used, but still they are almost debuffed entirely. We got another battalion of Goblin Spider Riders and those Lorian archers will be destroyed. So definitely bad composition from Max. You should definitely go with my friend sentries mixed with Lorian archers. But he let those Lorian archers to be open for all the time. And goes with uh, Riven and the Lancers. That was really good, but he should definitely get some pikemans near the uh, near the archers. And Riven and the ar ar uh, Lancers are not enough uh, against uh, Lor <laughs> Goblin Spider Riders. And the only remaining Mifrand Sentry Battalion will appear over here to take care about Goblin Riders. They should get away, actually, they're on level 3, you don't want to lose them. So here they go, get away. Maybe even go with bow mode and try to kill them. No, it seems that uh, Dag decided to get away. I don't know why this fissure is over here, maybe to take down the structures. Definitely, you can destroy production buildings with uh, Goblin Spider Riders, followed by Goblin Warriors to just make a spam. It's definitely enough. But okay, let it be. Still, you got not enough um, tunnels on the battlefield, and only 500 combine points, 550. It's not enough to sustain uh, such a build with three goblin caves, fisher, followed by spider riders. It's not enough. Still, you get more power points because your opponent just threw down lots of Lorian archers. This is why you get more power points than him. And now that he is trying to deal damage, as we can see, you got 9 when he got almost 8 power points, so you are almost even. Still, they get an advantage because he is the one who is trying to harass his opponent more and get better unit composition. Still, he is throwing and do not micro well with those goblin spider riders. As we can see, my friend sentries will kill a bunch of them, and uh, Dag is doing nothing with those spider riders. He is just throwing units to your opponent, trying to destroy some stuff. That shouldn't happen as a goblin. You should definitely try to add micro your opponent. And I don't know what they are doing over here. They've been out micro completely out of position. They should be near the base, should have left this spider rider battalion over here. And now we got Wiseman of Dalmont. Uh, almost 10 power points for Max, so it's going to be Arrow Volley. We got Haldir uh, that will take care about the troll. This is why you are not going with the trolls and an elf against the goblins, you go, you go with half through marauders, or maybe trolls with the tree. Oh, that's going to be mess. Missed, actually. It's not going to work, actually. You will not hide your units if they are cave bats, of course. And this barrack should be taken down by those spider riders down level 3. They will be able to do it, but not anymore. My friends, sentries are on them, they are on level 3. We got Haldir on level 3 as well. He got splash damage, as we all should remember. Five power points for like one power point at the moment, but still, it's uh, Dag who deal more damage towards his opponent. And now Dag should definitely try to attack his opponent and use the N most cost efficient. He he used it once with peasants. We saw one battalion of peasants only, and nothing else. We got two trolls, and now, as we can see. 
half an army is out of position. He's trying to destroy the only tunnel with entire army. This is what you don't want to do. You want to spread your units. Of course, you got level five, uh, level four for your hero, which is really important. Rallying call missed, but it's not enough. Spider riders will definitely get into Lorien archers and kill them all. And Mifran sentries are not enough against um, goblin warriors. Thing is, those trolls should get a stick to knock down uh, Haldir and kill him with entire army. We bring swords from but now, if Haldir is trying to escape, he will not be able to do it. We got too much of the spider riders, and even poison uh, arrows has been used. Okay, troll is going down. The other troll is still on the battlefield. And thing is, destroy those two. Destroy those two. Uh, elf and barracks before proceeding to the fortress. Do not go for the fortress first. The only threat are those two barracks actually. And yeah, Max decided to leave the game. He has been defeated. He got no units on the f on the field. And he was out maneuver uh, from the little bit of time with those Mifran sentries and elf and archers on the right side. Anyway, Goblin should definitely spread units. He shouldn't just throw units through the middle. You got tunnels that you should use on the left and right side, taken in, produce even Wiseman of Downland. Be aware of the map uh, that you're playing and try to adjust. This is what I get, that get us. <laughs> well, this is what I got to say for today. Anything? Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this brief, re really brief cast of Batman F2, patch 1.09. And see you next time. Bye-bye.